I am Crispin Alphonse, a lecturer in the Department of Foreign Languages and Literature at the University of Dodoma. Uh, my talk today is about Europe personal names and unique practice. Introduction. In African culture, personal names and naming practice give significant understanding of patterns of historical, political, social, cultural organization of communities. Uh, in Africa, the personal names are not a mere label. They carry social, cultural, circumstantial, historical, and environmental information about the name bearer. That case, a name is like a document that one can read the history, culture, and the heritage of the individual or the family or the society in general in terms of time and space. A name is a message through which the name giver communicates to the society through the name bearer. Also, in African culture, naming practice differs from one culture to another. And the traditional name giver also differs. For instance, in pattern, pattern in patrilineal society, it is the grandfather who is supposed to give or bestow a child names or the father of the child or the paternal grandmother. But also in matrilineal society, in most cases, maternal grandmother is the responsible for naming the child, but also the maternal grandfather as well as the mother of the child and the, the maternal uncle. Besides, naming practice associated with ceremonies, which is conducted after the birth of the child. And this means that the ceremony can never be conducted before the birth of the child. And if this ceremony differ from one society to another, children are bestowed with traditional names particularly the names were taken from the ancestors' names of a specific clan, but also after the missionaries, some of the names were taken from religious, particularly Christian and Muslim. Now let's see the naming practice in Iraq. Like in African culture, traditionally in Iraq, the name giver is the paternal grandfather or father of the child or the paternal grandmother or the mother of the child, but also children who participate in the ceremony of child naming they can name a child. And the children are named after patriarchy ancestral names, like names of the paternal grandfathers, or paternal grandmother, paternal aunts, or paternal uncles. And this means that children are given the names of the ancestors, those who were passed away. And the child is named after seventh day when its umbilical cord is recovered or dropped. And this means that during this particular period of time, the family have proved the survival of their newborn. And therefore, he is counted as a full member of the society who's supposed to be named. In Iraq, naming associated with children's ceremony, which is traditionally called the Kwantirna Ai. And this is usually conducted in the evening 
whereby children from the neighboring who gathered in the house of the new baby born, where the parents prepared them um, special food for children. And then after they took their dinner, then they uh, were guided by either grandfather of the paternal side or father of the or mother or the grandmother uh, to name the child. But these children don't have responsibility of uh, deciding the name of the child, but they are given the name by the elder member of the family. But in such cases, sometimes they can come up with their own name that they prefer depending on the way they saw the child and the other related behavior of the child. And the name that children can give to that particular child can either taken as a nickname. Also, in Iraq, children, as I said, are named after dead ancestors of the father's lineage. This is the belief that naming after someone still alive implies that one would wish him or her dead. Since this is an act of inheriting name, so the belief is that if someone name is taken by the child that is his or her position is also be taken then he can die and that is they avoid to name children after the person who is still alive also in iraq patterns of names differs that is a person can have different patterns of names, such as birth names, which is called the Umukwante, and the second name called the Sokomi, or poetic name, and also the religious name. But traditionally, the birth name, which is Umukwante, and the Sokomi should be given by the elder member, particularly the paternal grandfather or father or paternal grandmother. But the religious name can be given by anyone, either mother or father or relatives or friends or children. There is no restriction of naming a child religious name. Also, a child may have, in that case, two to three names. As in my case, um, Crispina as my first, and this is a religious name. And Ibura is my first name or birth name of Iraq. And also, Sakri is my Sokomi or poetic name. Typology of era personal names. I categorize name into two in this talk. That is a personal name, a kingship title or address. And I refer personal names as given or acquired name. That is sets of names by which an individual is known. And this can be birth name or second name, which is also called the Sokomi or the religious name. But apart from these individual names, we have also kingship titles or names or kind of address you see in Iraq. These connect to blood related persons in the family and they, they are called the lexemes used to address, describe or to refer to their relative. They are used to call one another in the family. And the members of the community are related through kingship or marriage. And this is the system 
used in language to refer to the person to whom an individual is related through kinship. Based on personal names, in Iraq, personal names are not chosen haphazardly or randomly, but they are derived from family or clan lineage stock of names. And also, they are derived following the circumstances of pregnancy, childbirth, object or things that were present during the birth of the child, activities that were conducted the day or during the birth of the child, but also the color or morphology of the child. But the child can also be named after fauna or flora or geographical features, political inspiration, time or period or seasons where a child is born, but also the child name can be derived uh, in relation to family or societal condition. Furthermore, children are named after religious names or uh, names that were borrowed during, due to uh, contact with neighboring society. In that, names are not arbitrary labels in Iraq. Instead, they reflect historical, environmental, and social cultural tags. Starting with family or clan names. In Iraq, it is tradition to name a child after family or clan names, especially the names of the dead ancestors, with the belief that naming after someone still alive implies that one would wish him or her dead. And since there is the tendency of inheriting names of the ancestors, then they are not, the children are not given the names of the people or member of the family who are alive. And if so, that is like pushing him to death because the newborn is replacing his position in the family or in the clan. But also, the um, children are given ancestors' name as a sign of commemorating and keeping alive a person who has dead, making dead alive, making them present by taking their names. Also, it is an effort to ease grief by symbolic reincarnation or as a sign of love to the members of the uh, family who are passed away when their names are given to a ch ch children. But also, children are named after ancestors as a means of seeking blessing and protection from ancestors. But more than that, this is a way of keeping records and storing the clan names since there is no means of keeping records uh, instead of using or inheriting names. Uh, in the case of succeeding names in Iraq, there is no clear system but in rare cases, firstborn inherits paternal grandfather's name and the first daughter takes the name of the paternal grandmother. But this is not so much strict rules or common among Iraq society. Also, there is no unique family names for each clan. That is, in Iraq, there are some of the most common names that can cut across Iraq clans. And such names are like Akona'ai, Bura, Ni'ma, Kwa'an, Amna'ai, Tluwai, 
amsi akweso male tlaza and etc these are just a few names that can cut across era clans traditionally clan or family name is the birth name or the first name of the child currently people use religious name as the best birth names and clan names are used as surnames in iraq we have different clans and uh, i mentioned only this few like hai tipe hai irqa hai sukum hai umbu hai guasma and etc uh, but clan names can be uh, given to a child as a birth name. Therefore, uh, in the clan of Tipe, you can find Tipe as a child first name, or Irka in Hayir as a child first name, or Sukum as a child first name. But in most cases, clan names as I said, are used as surnames. Clan names are unique as they can only be used by the certain clan and not by the other clan. And if these names are only given to the male children belonging to a specific clan. This means that female children do not inherit or they are not given or named after the clan names because the only male who can take that clan names therefore can expect to have a baby girl named Tipia or baby girl named Sukum or baby girl named Guasma that is not allowed in Iraq because this is a patrilineal society where it is the only male children who can take the clan names and not otherwise. Other names as I said are derived from circumstances and these are called the circumstantial names. That is, children are named in order to honor events experienced during pregnancy or childbirth by the family. Uh, related to circumstantial names are family or society, social or economic prosperity, or hardship or famine. And the name associated with this are quarry, means hunger, famine. Ahwari, season of hardship, semai, growth, increase of cows, goats, and sheep, gie, means famine. Others are related to war or social unrest. And the names derived from this are shawara, it's war or conflict, fita, this is derived from Kiswahili word vita, particularly this enter into Iraq during the First and the Second World War, but also during the Idi Amini War. But also there are names like Uo for male and Ui for female. This means cry of alarm for the Iraq when there is an emergence of enemies or dangerous animals or when the cattle lost in the bush, then uh, when there was a cry, cry of alarm, then child born during that period, period of time was named as Uo if it is a male and Ue for female and etc. But also there are name derived and that this uh, derived from activities. Such names are like Shawe. Shawe means communal farming work, which involved the drinking of local beer, which is called the Bura in Iraq. But also 
related to that, children are named Ibura to mean local beer because that communal work associated with drinking of local beer. But there are names like Seha, this is clearing bush to kill a fly, which is also done communally. But also we have a name like Lehma, born in the period of building houses. This activity is done also communally, associated with drinking local beer called the Pura in Iraq. But we have named Aga, this is cutting tree for building houses. Dosha, farming or cultivation. Gadie, generally means work. And the Kasi, a word derived from Kiswahili, means work. Time or hour of birth. This relates to time in terms of hour of birth of a child. Example, uh, there is name like Amsi, midnight, Akhoiso, evening or night, Madle, morning, Tlatlaha, midday, Dafi, evening when returning home, Aketo, Mamro, period of heading Keto in the morning. Relative circumstantial name is a place of birth. Uh, this pertains to the place of birth of the child. In this, we have names like Kaimo, Kaimo, or Dosha, that is born in the farm or when mother is farming. But in the hospital, we have this uh, in Kiswahili uh, names like Yaya which means a nurse for girl child, but maganga for boy, which means buana maganga in English doctor. Born in the bush can be called the or migire. Migire means when a uh, mother of child uh, went to collect a firewood. But also the child born in a journey, it depends on the place where that mother traveled to or the father traveled to. If it is in Moshi, can be called the Moshi. If it is Arusha, can be called the Arusha. If it is in Bulu, can be called the Mbulu or Imbori, etc. But also generally the child born on the way is also called the Lohi. And the Lohi is used for both a boy and a girl. Also, there are name, the names derived from weather. Such names are like Tuai, uh, for male Tuai, for female means rain. Domu means season, seasons of rain, particularly between April and May. But we have names like Ilawe'i, heavy rain season. Sawa, period of cold, uh, coldness. Bari period of Madri, which is normally in Iraq associated with rain or weather, but also we have Se'ama, sunshine, midday sun, or warmth. Related to circumstantial names are festivals names. Such names are derived from important festivals, particularly Christmas, and the names related to is Noeli. This is a name given to anybody, not necessarily the baptized one, but other names which are derived from festivals are like Uhuru, particularly during the independence of the Tanganyika, uh, Mongano during the union between Tanganyika and the, in Zanzibar. But also we have names like Sekuku, Kusukuku, uh, this generally means ceremony, but we have traditional name Marmo, particularly a child born during women, rituals, and etc. Uh, the second typology of Iraq name is those names which are derived from fauna. These names refer derived from animals, basically focusing on the appearance or behavior of such animals. And particularly, names are derived from names of the wild animals like Baha, 
Haina, Birang Lion, Duma, Leopard, Gurehi, Dig Dig, Santi, Hope, Porcupine, Quaram, Hair, and etc. But also there are names derived from birds, names like Sacri, Guinea Fowl, which also reflect beauty, Sacreli, Ostrich, but we have other names like Kurai and etc. There are also names derived from names of domestic animals, particularly the names of cows. These are very common in Iraq that people have names related to names of cows like Nawe, a name of a cow, Ara, a name of the cow, Basha, a name of the cow, Bea, a name of a cow, but also Beri or Beri, uh, this means sheep, but also we have name like Ara means goats in this era. Uh, related to fauna are insects names like Hibambi, which means spider, uh, Tahani, black ants, Nanagi, insects that eats maize, Heran, scorpion, and etc. Uh, fourth typology of Iraq names uh, from flora in the plants. That is, some plants names are given to children. Such names which I attest are duru, stalks or reeds, hairy grass with seed that blow away when dry. Lomai, used to make stick. Nari, this is a type of acacia with thorny thorns. Ombai, sirong, sha, bush, sharhi, hadai, place with dense tree, hoya, strawberry trees, waharo, ohari, dombea, which is used also for making sticks. Moreover, typology number. Five is name derived from behavior, physical appearance, or morphology. And these names are such as Hala Halai, which means six fingers. Awaki, this relate to the color white, Daati, red, Boi, black, etc. But related to behavior, names like Harweri, Hiiti, which means wandering. In this case, whether the mother of a child when pregnant was wandering or the father was wandering in the name, can, a child can be named due to such a behavior of one of the member of the family or one of the parent behavior. But also, there are names such as uh, Yagamba, that is uncastrated bull, but it is it has more than this meaning. It means strong, but other names like Dira can be also associated with the appearance or morphology of a child and etc. Other names are derived from politically inspired names, and this is typology number six. These relate to political incidences, activities, or figures. Uh, these are used to commemorate uh, people or such activities or incidences. And we have names such as Uhuru, particularly born during the independence time. Kawawa, this was the first prime minister of Tanzania, but we have political incidents like uh, Vita, which were uh, named children after uh, during the war, like first will do, second will do, as well as Idea Mini. But we have Moi, this is one of the presidents of Kenya, but also Nyerere, very common name due to the um, Nyerere being the first president of Tanzania, then during that time, children were named after his name. But we have names such as Mungano, but also Hitler. This is also found in, in Iraq. 
Number seven typology is manner of birth. In Iraq, the manner of birth is not so much productive and not so much followed in naming the ch children. But we have very few cases of names associated with this. And the I artist name like Barsi, that is a firstborn in such a family. Tla'ambu and a child in between the first and the last born, and the alute means the last born. Other names are derived from poetic names. Uh, these uh, poetic names are used in poems or songs, uh, but such names are like Umali, this is a girl, Salahot, twins, Habye, Haina, but they are also Lanta, means son, or God, Hibambi, means mother. Therefore, these are names that are used in the songs, but they are named, given to the children in Iraq. Apart from such typologies, but we have also, also contact induced the names. Iraq had been in contact with Datoga, Hadza, Bugwe, Masai, Nyaturu, Sukuma, but also Kiswahili. And uh, from the observation, it revealed, it revealed that um, Iraq borrowed many personal names from Datoga than any other community. And this is due to friendship kind of contact and the relationship among the two community, but also the long-term contact between the two. But there are very rare cases, and I didn't attest the, the Hadza names in Iraq, but also a very few cases of Maasai names, but we have only the general re address or reference to Maasai, which is called the Duangre. We have such a Duangre means Maasai, and we have people who are named the Duangre. And this is due to uh, the impact of the Maasai to the Iraq that they were not in good term relationship. But also there are a lot of Christian names, but very few Muslims in Iraq because of less contact with Muslim religion. We have also Kiswahili names in Iraq which are attested. Some examples of contact induced names are Gafna. This is derived from uh, English Gavana. But we have also Shauri from Buana Shauri, and, and a district officer next to DC during colonial government. And this is synonym, synonym to Kwashema, case or affair, cons consult. Other Kiswahili names are Karani, Klek, Angeresi, the Englishman, Safari, Jane, synonymous to Ae, or Lohi, but also we have Masong from our Kiswahili word Mzungu. We have also a name like Bilauri. That is a glass which is used to drink water. Therefore, we can say in this that Iraq personal names are traditionally not just a label. They communicate history. They communicate social cultural. They communicate environmental information. They communicate family status, they communicate different circumstances of the pregnancy, different circumstances of the childbirth, and etc.
and therefore understanding them is very crucial so that we can understand the real uh, condition and the situation of the society, particularly the Iraq as other African society is concerned. Having seen the personal names in Iraq and the different typologies, I also I want to talk about kingship titles and the related names. In Iraq, kingship are attested and they refer to a female or male parents like Baba vis-a-vis -vis family, vis-a-vis -vis I in the family. But also for siblings, we have brother and a sister, which in Iraq are here vis-a-vis her. -vis or marriage, like husband and wife, Hawata, also called or Ako, vis-a-vis -vis Hare or Ama. An individual in a family has kin-related name acquired either through blood relation or by marriage. The term can be used to call or to address or to describe an individual in the family. Here is the structure of the family tree for the male era kinship. As you can see from this family tree, you can see Ako. This is the paternal grandfather, Ama, paternal grandmother, and then the father in between. And then the side we have father's brother, which we called Baba, uncle. But we have father's sisters or sister called Ashiga. But the wife of the father's brother is called Ai or Ainina or Airnina. We call Ai for the elders, brother of the father's wife. For the young brother's wife, of, we call them Ainina. But then the uncle's son, the side of the brothers of the father, call it here, and the uncle's daughter called it here. The side of the Aishiga or uh, paternal aunt, her husband is called the Baba too, but aunt son called the Babu Nina, and the aunt daughter is Ainina or Ainina. Also, we have family tree for female or for mother's side. And this is Ako, Mateno grandfather, Ama, Mateno grandmother. Therefore, grandfather, grandmother is also used for the Mateno grandparents. And the mother is I. The brothers of mother is Mamai. And the sister of mother is I for the elders one and Ainina for the young one. The husband of the mother's sister is also Baba. And the son is Naumama and the daughter is Hatama. Uncle's wife is Harir Mamai or her mommy, but uncle's son is Nanu mommy, and the uncle's daughter is Hat mommy. In Iraq, there are other respectful terms used to address family members in the community. Such address terms or titles are as follows. We have Ayo, this is husband addressed him for his wife, Akowi, which is not so much common, is 
wife address team for her husband. There's Kumba, used for brother or sister-in-law. Dana, to address married sister. Tatohare, to address female father-in-laws. Now, I, to address the son of the father's uncle. Had I, to address daughter of the father's uncle. Now, Nango used by grandparents to address their son's male child. Had Nango used by grandparents to address their son's female child. Had Hato used by grandparents to address their daughter's female child. Now, Hato used by grandparents to address their daughter's male child. Had he how an aunt's address him for the daughter of her brother. Now he how aunt's address him for the son of her brother. Oh, 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 now, oh, this is nephew. Had her oh, niece, Darcy, used by parent to address their daughter or daughter-in-law. Garma used by parents to address their sons or son-in-law. In Iraq, Aishiga, which is aunt, is strictly used for paternal father, sister, and the mommy for a maternal uncle, that is mother's brother. Beside, I is used for mother, mother, el, mother's elder sisters, and the wife of old brother of father. Baba is used for father's brother, paternal aunts, husband, and for husbands of the sisters of mother. But Ainina is used by to address the daughter of aunts, the young sisters of mother, the wife of the young brothers of father. Apart from that, there are linguistic forms in kingship terms that mark gender differences in Iraq community. And the base forms are hat means daughter of, and the nam means son of. And the, therefore, most of the kingship address or terms or titles are formed by the use of hat or nam. And the examples are hat nango, that is hat daughter nango son, to means granddaughter or son's daughter. Nam nango means son plus son. Nam nango, that is grandson, son's son. Hat hato, daughter plus daughter, to mean granddaughter or daughter's daughter. But we have nam hato, son plus daughter, granddaughter, daughter's son. We have hat here, that is niece, the brother's daughter. Now here, nephew, brother's son. Hat her, niece or sister's daughter. And now her, or her, this is nephew or sister's son. Therefore, to conclude the talk, this talk addresses the personal names and the practice of naming in Iraq, a southern Cushitic language spoken in Tanzania. Traditionally, in Iraq, a child is named by the paternal members, particularly the grandfather or father of the child or the grandmother of the paternal side or the mother of the child. 
because naming practice follow the patrilineal system of the father. And in such a case, children are given names of the ancestors if they believe that uh, the children are not supposed to be given the names of the people who are alive because that is like wishing the people who are alive to be dead. Naming is traditionally accompanied by children's ceremony called the Huantenai, which is usually uh, conducted during the evening, attended by children from the nearby relatives and the neighbors. And the task of the ch children in the ceremony is to pronounce the names under the guidance of the elder member of the family. As I said, the one who has big responsibility is the grandfather. Also, it has indicated that names in Iraq are not a mere label that distinguish an individual from the rest member of the family or community but they instead have many potential in the view wells of Iraq. In that case, therefore, Iraq personal names have indexical relationship to historical, political, social cultural meanings and the functions, and the place, activities, people, geographical features, plants, animals, objects or things, behavior, morphology, and the physical appearance of the child. And that means, therefore, names in Iraq has meaning and not just a label that distinguishes an individual from another. And I thank you. This is the end of my talk.